Um... The altar's got a couple of cracks now, but it survived the fall pretty well. All things considered, yeah, it actually kind of did. Um... Skybrush! Are you hey. okay? I'm fine, you backstabbing backslapper! Give me that sea turtle! Of course, Skybrush. I understand that you want to take the credit. It's important to look good in front of your wife. It's not that, it's just... Now, if you'll be so good as to excuse me, I need to get back to the task of returning the monkeys I once kidnapped back into the wild. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the number of monkeys it takes to complete an evil voodoo curse. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay! <laughs> So now I have three of them. I probably have to go back to the main, uh, the main place there. Like, hey, I, I, I kind of got all of these. Can, can we do something now? All right, let's go back. This should be okay, hopefully. Oh. What's going on? It's McGillicuddy. He's moving his ships in and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. That's I'm mad. for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. Wouldn't that be a bad... Oh, Sir, okay, whatever. I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in. So she's not caught in the crossfire. Okay, I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find... Ah! Winslow, wait! I have to get a lane! I'll be right back! No time, sir! You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade! I'll be waiting to pick you up! Is someone there? I need some help! Oh, lane! Oh, no, Sea Bunny! What happened? McGillicuddy! He caught me off guard, knocked me out, and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. That's bad. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of Mer statue, and now I'm stuck. I got ya. Alright, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's perfect. I needed one more ship for my plan. Oh, and we're not leaving yet. But, uh, okay. okay, listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point distraction skewer to take advantage of it. Double-jointed traction skewer. Got it. I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the Spoon Isle Beach and distract them on the west. How do I do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attacks from that should keep them occupied so someone else can slip through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs to sneak through the weak point in the blockade once you and I have them distracted, then take your ship, sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, sink it, and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Merkin. Uh, Queen, whatever. Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the Pox has taken McGillicuddy over completely now. There's no reasoning with them anymore. But it's my ship and- I said, quit your whimpering and grow some barnacles for Blackbeard's sake. I'm making the plans here, fancy pants. Yikes. Um, don't look now, but I think you might be slightly infected with the pox. Unless you want to find yourself with a match instead of hook hands, I suggest you do as I say. Yes, dear. Ooh. I've got to run, love. Go and find LeChuck and tell him the plan. Hey, LeChuck. Elaine says you should see how many cannonballs you can fit in your stupid... I can hear you! Yes, dear. Hot coals. Ooh, wow, it's hot! How did Elaine not burn herself on these? Um... Do I have anything to scoop those up? I've got no reason to pry that. Uh... Grabbing that with my hook, it'll tarnish it. Really? Also, just cannonball. It's fine. 
All right, so I had to shift to get more comfortable and across my legs, which is the inevitable horrible turning point in any Let's Play, where I make a horrible decision to cross my legs because they're gonna fall asleep. My feet are gonna fall asleep. I know this, um, but I'm still doing it. It's fine. Let's see. I miss. Can I have this bucket? Well, I like you, so yeah. Go ahead. What are you gonna use it for? I don't know. So why do you want to take it? Um, because it's there, I guess. You're a weird, kid. Cute, but weird. Okay, but no, I missed that earlier. Um, whoops. But I'm gonna have to use it for the coals. That's. I looked it up in that. Anyhow. That was another thing I was doing while I was making the mistake of crossing my legs. Ah! If I could only control this game properly. All yeah, right. Now they won't singe everything in my pockets. Well, that's good. I don't know how you fit a bucket in your pockets, but you know what? It's fine. So... We have coals and we have that one barbecue thing. I'm guessing that's what we're doing because, I mean, what else would we use coals for? Uh, and we haven't done anything with that yet. That's a big thing. So let's see. Is it this way? I probably went the wrong way. I usually go the wrong way. Ooh, yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay. Also, holding the shift button to run is kind of, kind of odd. I usually play console games, so like, I don't know about this, guys. My pinky is not feeling it. I'm using the WASD keys right now. So that's probably part of my problem. Uh, let's see. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I, I guess, because why would I do the right thing? That would make too much sense. At least I know the way now. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. Okay. Uh. That won't do anything. It's not even on. I don't think I have the item that I need to do this. In fact, I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, I don't, I think I missed something. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> yep, I missed something. Okay. I hate when I do this. But at least there's a quick button to return to the beginning of the place. There's at least that. So I gotta go all the way back to Spinner's K. Ew. Looks all slimy with mer people crud now. I think I'll stay out here. Okay. Whoa, okay. Hot I'll just turn controls. the heat up a little. Uh oh. Yep. Good job. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. Yeah, sure. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, he said. Alright, so now we can go back. And now we have the thing to control the thing. You know, the thing. But why do I always say the thing? My dad bugs the shit out of me because he actually will like, he'll speak in what I call thing language, which is just, you know, the thing with the thing inside the thing, you know, that thing. And usually I have to decode it because it's usually something quite important. Um, but now I'm starting to do it too with increasing frequency and it's, it's kind of worrisome, but I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. Do not click the wrong thing. Hey, perfect fit. And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. All I right. think it's a Vakalian barbecue. Whoa, now that's a barbecue. All right, um, fish eggs. Maybe I'll just cook up a little bit. Wow, that's a hot grill. They just like disappear. Okay. Um. 
I don't want to cook that. Okay. What am I supposed to cook? Ah. Um. I kind of don't want to do this, but. Sorry, the little guy. The guy told me to do Good this. Good thing you're not actually alive. What? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's unsettling. Yeah. Ooh, melty. Ouch. Hot. Well, yes, it's gonna be hot. And also, I'm gonna miss the py the, the pirate parrot. I must call him a pirate, which I know is probably the thing. All right, what do I do with melted pyrite? What do I do with that, Threepwood? What? It's telling me to go to the cliff edge, which I don't know why it's telling me to do that, but that's what it's telling me to do, so here I go. I'm sure I'll be able to, if, I, if I'm not stuck behind this tree, okay. I'm sure that I'll be able to tell what I'm supposed to do once I get there. I probably, I took the wrong path. I took the wrong path. Okay. Supposed to go up. Then up. Yes. Okay. Well, can I throw fish eggs over it? I don't want to throw it off the edge of a cliff. Well, no. I kind of do, but I won't. Oh. Um. Eh, hell, let's use the new item. That actually worked. Hey, what happened? Okay. That was kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what happened. Let's let's go let's go take a look. I mean I'm just running off the assumption that that would have done something instead of we get there and it's just like shaped like a bowl and it's just a bunch of pyrite. Mm, I think for now I'll put this back in the stone bowl it came out of. That golden sea turtle left quite an impression on this stone. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Guy brush. All right, I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. So, all right, so I don't, I don't think that the pyrite is supposed to be hard when that happens. So, I mean, we did throw it off the cliff, so obviously we're, maybe we're trying to get a mold of the turtle. I, I don't know what we're trying to do. Maybe it's to fool the. The, the pox guy. I don't know. I went the wrong way. <laughs> All right. So okay, Over it was still liquid. Hey, it was Bullseye. still liquid that time. So, I'm guessing we just needed, like, a pyrite turtle. I don't know. I guess it, it won't be like the with the parrot where it'll talk, but, you know? One counterfeit sea turtle artifact, made from fool's gold. All right. Hey, not bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye, anyway. All right, so that's gonna probably come into play. I don't know. 